chapter. My, my brother-in-law had a deal like that where he got a, a kink in the gut. What are you doing, St. Patrick's Day? Is, is she a horse? Uh, and he just, he, uh, Pat Conway's Bear Ridge. Just took oh, the man, are they, they're a 1977 band. Oh, yeah. they and they're kind of reunited for this event. It looks like the skeleton crew over there yeah, today. Yeah, it's five to yes. nine o'clock. Dinner on Saturday. They're giving me the whole place. Yeah. Well, Good morning. So Let me. Um, I got some tickets. I was a demo all the. I'll buy two tickets, right. no matter what. Okay. Well, uh, it looks like we're going to make up for that. Long 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 okay. Well, if you can. I was just you weren't here. I was just telling you. Oh, this is no tickets too. Oh yes. I don't. Yeah, because it's going to be a hoot. Oh, Bring them on the same day too. Those guys come out of the woodwork, you know. <laughs> Everybody's got to talk. Oh, sorry. Not paying attention. You don't know what the password is today, do you? He's book of war. Oh, pay attention. You got an extra one there? Thank you. Hey, thanks. I got my check for the Blue Lake finally. Okay. Good morning. Welcome to the Larry County Planning Commission meeting of March 9th. Uh, roll call, please. Gong? Here. Millies? Here. Elliot? Here. Diaz? Here. Whitlatch? Here. Giuliano? Here. Aguilar? Here. Thank you. Uh, pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Just an iPad. At this time, members of the public may comment on any item not appearing on the agenda. Under state law, matters presented under this item cannot be discussed or acted upon by the Planning Commission at this time. For items appearing on the agenda, the public will be invited to make comments at the time the item comes up for Planning Commission consideration. So that all interested parties have an opportunity to speak, any person addressing the Planning Commission may be limited at the discretion <coughs> of the Chair. In order to be considered by the Planning Commission, testimony on public hearing items must be given at the time scheduled for the public hearing. At all times, please use the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Is there any comments? Thank you. Uh, approval of the minutes of the February 24th meeting. I want to make one minor correction on item 5B. You listed as 7-0 vote. I believe it should be 4-0. Three of us had refused or so. You get the second one right. What was that number, Mel? Uh, five, item 5B. If you look on there where it says a 7-0 vote, it should be 4-0. Uh, uh, gotcha. Okay. All right, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes with that correction. I'll second the motion. Gong? Yes. Millies? Yes. Elliot? Yes. 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 Whitlatch? Yes. Filiano? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Thank you. The consent calendar, action on all items in this section will be taken with one motion and vote, unless anyone wishing to discuss any one of these items requests that it be pulled from the consent cal calendar and held over for such discussion. The consent calendar is an untimed item and may be taken up at any time during the course of today's meeting, as time allows. Uh, we have one, it's the extension of time for Jose Ramirez Gutierrez. Oh, if we need a motion, I'll make a motion on that extension. Second. Thank you, vote please. Gong? Yes. Millies? Yes. Elliot? Yes. Yes? Yes. Whitlatch? Yes. Giuliano? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Thank you. Parcel map public hearings. Action on all parcel maps in this section of the agenda will be heard in one public hearing 
unless anyone wishing to discuss any one of these items requests that it be pulled for a separate public hearing. No staff presentation will be given on any item unless requested. In any case, there will be a separate vote on these items. 5A is tentative parcel map number PPM 15-029, Josephs and Suzanne Fernandez, Four Creeks, Randy Wozniak. Just as a disclosure, um, Madam Chair, I've, I've had uh, financial dealings with Fernandez in the past, but it's been years, so I'm okay with it. And just for disclosure, so have I, but it's been quite some time, and I don't have any now. Anyone else? Okay. Um, do we have any? I have to open the public hearing for parcel map number PPM 15-029. Is there anyone that would like to speak? Okay. Okay, I'm going to close the public hearing unless any of the commissioners have anything to say. I'll make that motion. We approve the category exemption consistent with California sequel and the state sequel guideline pursuant to Title 14 California Code Regulation Section 15303 Class 3 pertaining to limit number of new small facilities or structure and conditionally approved tentative partial map number PPM 15029 with a waiver of the final map. Do I have a second? Second. The vote, please. Long? Yes. Millie? Yes. Elliot? Yes. 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 Whitlatch? Yes. Miliano? Yes. Aguilar? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's spread this out a little bit. Uh, a director's report, please. Yes, thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. Um, I'm going to, uh, uh, Aaron is going to do a presentation on what we'll be presenting in the near future to the board on um, our general plan annual update as well as a housing uh, annual update. I apologize for get, just rushing in here. I, I'm on my way to another meeting, so I'm going to part way through his presentation. I'll probably have to depart, but, but he'll continue on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, commissioners, um, uh, on March 29th, uh, Mr. Washington will present to the board Tulare County's 2015 Annual General Plan and Housing Element Progress Update. This is an annual report that goes to the Governor's Office of Planning and Research, basically telling them how we're doing on our general plan. What's a little bit unusual about this one compared to other years is usually there's about five or six general plan amendments, tops, um, or or zone changes within a year, usually more heavy on the zone changes. This year we have 45 items. So that, that's uh, kind of a record year for us. And uh, <clears throat> I would just like to quickly go some, through some of the highlights with you. Well, you're going to get the state down here to audit you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's uh, not unusual for a county to update as we have as many of their community plans in short order after the general plan is approved. The thing is, it's kind of been waiting for about three years. You, usually you hold off on your community plans till the general plan goes through and then you segment them out. Uh, we happen to be catching, catching up to some extent, but the fact that we were able to, to move through those qui so quickly is a testament to our ability to streamline the process in our ability to actually do do the work at a higher quality um, <clears throat> without any challenges really on any of the CEQA or the land use decisions we've made. The, uh, I mean, we started off this year with the Porterville Area Community Plan, uh, the Strathmore Community Plan, Tipton Community Plan, Pixley Community Plan. We did uh, Daryl's Mini Storage, which was a GPA and uh, zone change. We've had smaller ones, including some tougher cases like the uh, Lopez, Lopez case, uh, self-help enterprises, uh, which is a relatively large subdivision in Goshen in a very uh, infill-like setting. Um, so that was uh, quite an accomplishment for the, 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 the time frame to get that through the process was, you know, probably all about three months. Um, Ducor. 
the uh, Terabella. And then we have quite a few um, actual zone changes uh, to the policy, to our zoning policy as well, um, including the diesel emissions, uh, regarding density bonuses, transitional housing, emergency shelters, family, the definition of family, all those things that went into our housing element. And it was uh, suggested by the state. We, we accomplished all those in fairly short order before the housing element was completed. Um, at, concurrently with the housing element, we also did the SB 244 study. Um, we're probably one of the first ones in the state to really have that uh, into our general plan as it was required. So all in all, these uh, well, 44 items, including the rooftop solar ordinance, I mean, it's a testament to our ability to work through these, any problems we have, um, and also a testament to this uh, commission to uh, sit there and listen to us while we talk about these things. <laughs> um, but but we do we do appreciate your efforts. We know the last meeting was a, a bit long, but like I said, there's a, a little bit of method to our madness at times, but I would like to remind the commission they could keep the speakers to three to five, three minutes and any agents to, to five minutes, uh, especially in opposition. So just a reminder to that fact. Otherwise, on the, uh, I'm sure people are still a little bit concerned <coughs> about the flood control. Um, the, uh, we're still working through numerous uh, stream bed alteration agreements because we do the permitting for all those flood control projects. Most of them are emergency basis. Uh, we, all we have to do is report to the, um, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife 14 days after we do the work if and it has been declared an emergency for El Nino if uh, it's under emergency circumstances. So we're doing quite a few of those. Pretty much every other day we're, we're talking to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, so that, that's constantly in our, our minds um, moving forward on flood control. And also on the, uh, see what I mean? also on the, um, <coughs> uh, we're, they're, they are moving forward with uh, Caldwell as far as designs. So we're, we're also working on the uh, permitting for that project. Uh, so they're getting pretty close to 60% uh, designs on that, that project. Besides whether they're going to put that canal underground or not, do you know? Uh, as far as the... Caldwell? Yeah, no, that, that'll, that'll uh, remain uh, above. Um, but the uh, uh, <clears throat> we're going through that permitting process as well. Will they change the overpass? Uh, the... Betty, oh, that one eventually, yes. Um, that that's definitely in the works. So that that's on the radar. Good. <clears throat> Measure R. On the housing element before the board, um, these are these forty-five items are all prior approved items. Forty-five items were what we approved over the last year. Yeah, and so then you can still come as as the public and oppose those being no, in the housing element. No, no. This is a consent item. This is just a uh, um, akin to a certification of the board that we did these things, and then it goes to the governor's office of planning research. So the the time is run uh, both on CEQA and for the housing element to uh, challenge it. I got gotcha. you. Like I said, I we are very uh, happy to work with you on these, and we're, we're glad we've been able to. To do so favorably. Limit to the quality of the work the staff does there that these things are not challenged, and that they can come through the this this commission here as quickly as they do. And we just appreciate you being prepared and preparing us. That's <laughs> that's the biggest. You know, we went to a, a, a California County Planning Commissioner's Conference in uh, Monterey, was it, uh, how many years ago, three or four? That's 2010, no. And uh, talked to a lot of commissioners about their commissions, <coughs> and uh, we felt pretty good coming out of there because uh, some of these commissions uh, are not very pretty in terms of their interaction with each other, right. not to mention uh, what they deal with. Right. So uh, I think you guys do a terrific job. And um, and that's everybody, not just uh, the leadership. It's all the way down to uh, everybody that has a part in this process. It's really good. 
I think everybody cares about their job. Absolutely. Thank you. So that uh, completes the uh, director's report, unless you have any other questions for me. Okay. Thank you. Um, Planning Commission discussion items and requests for future agenda items. Um, there will be no action on this uh, discussion and referral to future meetings. Does anyone have? Well, I do. Uh, it's been requested that I uh, ask you, all of the commissioners, to uh, refrain from parking in any designated spaces outside of the building. Be sure that you park in a blank space. No matter how late we are or how much. But just are, these right here. Any of them that are designated, if they're just marked. Just these right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just be careful and don't park in there, even if you are late. And then um, I also was asked to um, tell you that we are welcome to have share coffee inside the lunchroom, but there, if you would please refrain from visiting with any supervisors or staff and walking in the hallways, just stay in the lunchroom. Hmm. You mean not visiting with them? Outside the, the lunchroom? Yes. They come in the lunchroom and visit with us. Well, that's their prerogative. But don't go, please, into the hallways or. That's <laughs> all I'm going to say. Remember last time you were there? You were, you were Take your territory. Huh? Do we all oh, understand I that? that. Sure. Okay. okay, I'm glad you did it very well. well Advice I'll point your finger at anybody. Oh, there's I have to tell you that uh, last at the last session when we were recusing ourselves, Mel and I were in the back here, and he was standing in front of these in-out trays right here for the the commission or the, uh, uh, the board, and he was looking at a magazine. Was sitting in the top, and one of the staff from the front came by and said, "You're not to look through the supervisors in and out baskets." <laughs> he said, "Oh, I'm sorry." It was you. You guys got busted. Who's <laughs> going through like this? So, point taken, please. Okay? Well, now we know who did it. It was a retirement <laughs> magazine. I was, I gotta they don't want you thinking about retiring. Speaking of IRS, we can see the bathroom four extra days oh, this year. You know, that wasn't mentioned, but I'm BP hoping that, yeah. yes, yeah, okay. we can still use that. Uh, if there are no other items to be discussed, do we even get paid if we're not here a half an hour? <laughs> we're making as, up as for last <laughs> We're making big dollars no. per hour. Yes, yes. It took more than 15 minutes to get here. No, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Okay. Meeting is adjourned. Reconvene on March 25th.